whether you're a guy in a cape. Or a rogue who is sneaky. Join Chris and Roger as they entertain the geeky. Resistance is futile. Guys. I'm. We, we have our stoic faces on right now. What's up? It's like fucking stoic. Like, we are going to drop some heavy shit on you. First and foremost, new game coming out. Yeah. Star Wars Destinies. Now, I, I, we just talked about like literally two seconds ago. And I was like, hey, Chris, you heard about Star Wars Destinies? And you went, nope. All right. It's a collectible dice slash card game that, it, okay, your first thought is like. Dice Masters. No, but no, it's so it's so different. Like, it, it, it's like if Magic and Dice Masters had a baby. And instead of having, well, you have two characters. So you only have two characters on the field like Kylo Ren and Darth Vader or whatever. Then you build a 40 card deck with only two of each card in it and you play the fucking game. And it, it guys, go to Fantasy Flight's website. Check out how to play this game because it looks amazing. It looks really good. Like, I'm excited. I, I, I'm i going to run this for the Fantasy Shop. Like, that's how excited I am for me to say I'm going to do this when I don't, you know. I don't do much anymore, but that's how excited I am for this game. Is it looks really good. I don't know the price points yet. I don't know how the the expansion packs are going to come, but I do know for the first time in my life I can finally have Han Solo and Chewbacca shoot the shit out of Boba Fett and Darth Vader, and I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Check out the demo. Check out the gameplay online. It looks really good. So we're going to use that for our segue. A segue into. Forgotten sci-fi. Yeah, so Legendary Pictures now has the rights to Dune, which I think is one of the most successful, loved science fiction stories of all time. Yeah. But has been forgotten. Yeah. And Legendary Pictures is, is, is talking about doing not only one movie, but also doing TV shows and just doing everything they can with this wonderful world that Frank Herbert has designed. And it looks really good. But it got me thinking more about other forgotten sci-fi stuff. Like my favorite, V. So good. Like the original V in the 80s with, with Beastmaster Mark Singer. Yeah. And the short-lived TV show. The, that was like the original Independence Day. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. Well, then they redid it. And, and that and it was, was great. That was really good, too. Two seasons on the air, and it was fantastic sci-fi. It was. So, you know, that's kind of what I want to talk about. is like stuff that was really good, but might be forgotten. You know, a franchise that I'm surprised um, that is gone, that's happened and was huge, but is kind of forgotten now. You're drinking from the cup. Gremlins. Ah, Gremlins. Two movies. Fun little sci-fi flicks. And, you know, the first Gremlins was actually scary as fuck. It, well, it, it was. It was. And you know what it was rated? PG. PG. <laughs> like, what would that movie be rated today? R. R. Oh, for oh, sure. Fucking R. In, in a, yeah. Yeah. In a profound R. <laughs> yeah, really, really big R-rated movie. But it was so good. It was a good flick. You know what else it was? What? Christmas movie. It was a Christmas movie. So fuck it. <laughs> it was a Christmas movie. So do you want to talk about Christmas movies that aren't really Christmas movies? Let's do it. What's your favorite non-Christmas movie? Well, and you and I talked about this briefly before the show. Um... I think Die Hard is actually my favorite non-Christmas Christmas movie. Okay, you know how you said earlier in the show, it's not Christmas until you watch A Christmas Story? Yeah. It's not fucking Christmas until I watch Die Hard. Really? Like, like every Christmas, there are two movies I have to watch. Die Hard and the first Lethal Weapon. And then Die Hard 2. Lethal Weapon is good. Lethal Weapon is good. Another Christmas movie, and that involves dead hookers. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Like, that, that is weird that... And then you've got, you can even go horror with, with uh, Black Christmas or Silent Night, Deadly Night. You've got the fun Christmas movies, Nightmare Before Christmas. Which, I mean, that's far from forgotten. It's but, not forgotten, but it's still a, a non-Christmas Christmas movie. Yeah, I mean, it's a Christmas and a Halloween movie. Yeah. It, like, it, you can literally watch that all season long, like from September through December. And be good. And be very good. You know, my wife has never seen that movie. She's mistaken. I know. I, she's wrong. <laughs> That's all there is to it. She's wrong. How do you, how, how have you never seen that? I, you know, and she blames me because I don't own it. And that's fair. What have I done? I, I, how could <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's so blind. The worst part is she knows all the songs because, you know, there are... I hate Christmas music. Okay. I despise it with the fiery passion. With the exception of Percy the Pointed Poinsettia, all of them for Christmas is my two front teeth, and I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Well, hold on. I know... <laughs> <laughs> I know a Christmas song that you have to love. And it's Bing Crosby and David Bowie doing The Little Drummer Boy. Nope, I'm out. Did you listen to it? I don't. I, I know the little. My thing is this. It's so special. All Christmas movies are, are, are creepy. They're just fucking creepy. Christmas movies? Christmas music. Oh, it's okay. all creepy. Why? Name a Christmas song Silent Night, all about nuclear war. White Christmas. It's about coming on, coming on somebody. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You you uh, could have said cocaine, and I'd have been like, okay, yeah, Roger. Yeah, am I, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones we used to have. That's a married man who's thinking about sex back before he was married. Or are you sure it's not Scarface thinking about cocaine? It could be he... the same. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> it could be both. Frosty the Snowman's about a pedophile. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's about love for retards. It's all bad. Love for <laughs> retards? Oh, my God. It's all creepy <laughs> and all bad. I was not saying you shouldn't love retards, but I don't need a song to tell me that. This episode might not be here after that comment. It's about loving people with disabilities. <laughs> like, no, think about it. So all they did was make fun of Rudolph for his big shiny nose, right? They're all like, oh, you suck. You're bad. Get out of here. We don't want you. And then the minute that they need him, they're like, oh, we fucking need you. We're sorry. Come back. That's bullshit. Rudolph should have been like, fuck you guys. You know what's funny about you saying that? Is you're like, then then integration gets brought into the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> Only because we fucking need you. Only because we need you to meet a quota, Rudolph. <laughs> we need you because we can't fucking see. You know what? I guarantee you there were fucking snowy nights before Rudolph came along. Foggy nights. Yeah. How the fuck does Santa get along without that red-nosed fucking mischievous fucktard? He wasn't mischievous. He was really sweet. <laughs> no. He was like, man, I Things are real bad for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go live on the island of Misfit Toys. No, that fucking Christmas music, that that Christmas thing. Fuck that little thing. That thing was creepy and done by people on LSD. The fucking I love I love that movie though. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. All of those like claymation movies that came out then were fucking creepy. They were so good. They were, like like but creepy as shit. I don't really know what to say about it. Let's look at other Christmas music that, that is just creepy and, and bad. 12, uh, 12 Nights of Christmas, My True Love Gave to Me. That's about a gold-digging bitch. That's really all that's about. Oh my gosh, Roger. What What <laughs> is it that you didn't get for Christmas? I got everything I ever wanted for Christmas. Apparently not, no. because you are this bitter bastard just, when it comes to the Christmas season. The Christmas music, I just don't like it. It's creepy. Um, that that uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra sends chills down my spine like it's awesome music, but it creeps me the fuck out. It's creepy. It, look, if you put that shit in a serial killer movie, it would fit. The Little Drummer Boy. Uh, yeah, that's making fun of poverty. No, it isn't. It totally is. He's all like, look, I'm poor. And I know you're supposed to have a gift, but I'm sorry. Here, look, be ashamed of the fact that all I can do is play this drum because I'm so poor. He didn't say be ashamed. He was ashamed, though, because everyone else is bringing frankincense and myrrh, and here's the little drummer going, this is all I have. I'm sorry. It's like, it's like Oliver Twist, the little kid going, please, sir, can I have some more? Oh no. Oh, my gosh. No. Wrong. The Roger that shit on Christmas. <laughs> I'm you are you are a combination between Scrooge and the Grinch, and Frosty the Snowman, child molester. You said that already. I'm just I'm just reiterating what, the fact. What about the Grinch? No, the Grinch is cool. You know why? Why? Because he hates Christmas. No, he doesn't. That, his, not heart the end grows, of the his heart grows. <laughs> yeah, again, sizes that day. again, saying if you hate if you hate conformity, then eventually you have to conform to be accepted by the masses. Oh God, <laughs> that's that's all I learned from the Grinch. <laughs> and the worst part is I can't walk into a fucking store now without hearing Christmas music. I love it. I eat it up, man. And I, I know you I do. I love Christmas music. <laughs> I hate Christmas music. Oh my gosh. I hate it so bad. There's a rule in my house that Christmas music is only played at Christmas Eve. And now that I'm back to playing video games, Courtney goes and does dishes and, and, and cooks or whatever. And she has that shit blaring, but I turn my game up so much that she can't fucking hear it. That she can't hear it? Yeah. You are a Nazi. Am I a Nazi? Nazis like Christmas. Hitler was a Christian. Hold on, time out. I'm listening. 
Hitler was a radicalist. And hold on, hear me okay. out. <laughs> he still likes so Christmas. People didn't when somebody didn't when somebody wasn't vibing <laughs> what he was digging. <laughs> He was like, I'll tune you out. <laughs> no, there's a difference between <laughs> turning. And you're tuning your wife out. You're like, does this does this make you happy? Does this give you hope? Yeah, because, I'm not, it's going away. It's going all, away. All hope is gone, honey. Well, there's a difference between me turning my video game up too loud and saying, get in the fucking showers, okay? I'm just saying. I don't know that you're you're not telling her to get in the shower. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's happening. In I don't house. have the carpentry. Is she even skills. alive? I don't know. I don't have the carpentry <laughs> skills to to put in a guest shower. No, because you're not Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, he liked Christmas music. It was his birthday celebration. No, he was a carpenter though. That's why you don't have he the was. carpentry. He skills. gave he gave us fucking chairs and a table to sit on. All right. Sorry, I had to drink water there. Well. Now that uh, Rogers rained on Christmas, go ahead, throw out another Christmas song. I tell you, I'm why not it even sucks. throwing out any more Christmas songs. You're just a negative Nancy. <laughs> 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 but admit it, I'm right about Rudolph. You're funny about Rudolph. <laughs> I am right about Rudolph. We will make fun and, and disown you because of disabilities until the day we need you. Oh my God! That's exactly what that song teaches our children. Or it teaches them acceptance. It's not about acceptance, though. Everybody bullshit. is special. That's what it means. No, that's not what it means. It's it's bullshit because it's all like, oh, fucking kick the fucking reindeer. It's, it's everybody has their place in the world. Like <laughs> That's what it is. You might feel different, but you have your place in the world. He and doesn't feel different. He just had a shiny fucking nose. He, and apparently having a shiny fucking nose means you can't fucking get laid in Rudolph land and reindeer land. He lands the chick. No. Yeah. Not yeah. the song. You're, you're going off that, that movie where they had misfit oh, toys dude. and the fucking sure. creepy, that creepy ass fucking ice pick looking motherfucker. Oh, that guy was hilarious. That guy, fucking Cliff or whatever his Ooh, name was. I got an ice pick. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? Was it laced with cocaine? It had to have been. Like, why else is he? Like, I've never seen someone lick lick something so much than Heath Ledger and the Joker. Or the jo- <laughs> the junkie dentist. <laughs> Because it was obviously dentist meant gay. I just did. He, that guy, no, he was a junkie. The dentist was a junkie? He was a junkie. I'm listening. I Think back to his behavior. Just think to his behavior alone. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm a dentist. What do you do? I'm a dentist. I'm a dentist. He was coked out. He was coked out? He was coked out. I'm, I'm still going with the dentist being the, the 60s term for gay. Oh, wow. Think about it. I just blew your little mind. Well, no, I still think he's a coke addict. You can get a gay coke addict. I mean, you could. I mean, how many coke addicts do you know? I I work in the car business. So a lot of coke all addicts. All of them. All every single one of them. All is a coke of them. Addict. Oh, you know what else is a Chris, forgotten Christmas movie? American Psycho. Huh? Yeah. Just throwing that out there randomly. There's a reason I hate Christmas music. Because American American Psycho. Psycho, Huey Lewis, and the News. Yeah. I'm sorry for raining on your parade and ruining Christmas for you all so soon. I mean, my, my parade's fine. <laughs> okay, good. 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 No, I, I'm fine with Christmas. Here's the thing. I am fine with every single holiday that we celebrate in this country on the day that it is supposed to be celebrated. What I am not okay with is the month-long lead-up to one fucking day. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit here. <laughs> you live in a world of hypocrisy because you're like i hate the month-long build-up let's do 30 days of halloween on our podcast and we did every episode was to halloween and we're gonna do 30 days of christmas this is us starting off with we're christmas. just gonna complain about it the whole time <laughs> all right ebenezer so <laughs> yeah scrooge had it right <laughs> so what was really going on in a christmas carol Again, that movie obviously, that story obviously tells you what happens when you don't conform to society. Ghosts visit you? Ghosts visit you and tell you that your life is shitty because you don't celebrate Christmas appropriately. (laughs) And because you're not, quote unquote, a good person. (laughs) Quote unquote, because you're a bad guy. You're a bad guy. Your life's shitty. Well, he was a dick. Look, look, Look at A Wonderful Life. It's a Wonderful Life. All this guy wanted to do was commit suicide. Until some stupid angel was like, no, you can't do it. 
Fuck off, Angel. It's my life. I'll end it when I want. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street. That's bullshit. It tells you the fan- that, that fantastic beings actually live. They do. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just so you guys know, Santa's real. Oh, of course um, he... No, he's real. Santa's real. So now that... <laughs> he's a fantastic being. Hey, is there a snake in this bottom one? No, in the very bottom, no. Okay, because it's open. Yeah. It's Sorry, my fears are coming to supplies. light here. Um, so, oh, man... You're going to be holding one soon. Real soon. Real soon. So. You, you, you put out that I was going to be holding one next week. And it's actually going to be the week after that. <coughs> Due to. Due to. Scheduling conflicts. Scheduling conflicts, yeah. Yes. Um, next week is going to be a crazy so, week. So do we want to tell them what the plan is? The, the, the fundraising for this? Yeah. So here's the deal. For every one American U.S. dollar that is donated. To entertain the geek. Roger has to hold a snake for one minute. 30 seconds. 45. 30 seconds. I initially look, said one minute. Look, look. 30 seconds, a dollar worth of 30 seconds. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If you give us $5, that's what? Two and a half minutes of me holding a snake. He rounds it up to three. No. Every $5, three minutes. No. Get <laughs> fucked. I'm going to die of a heart attack doing this. So for every dollar pledge, just 30 seconds. We will have a grand total. We're going to put this up tomorrow. We will have a grand total at the at the at the beginning of the event on how much how long I'll be holding the snake. Well, hold on. What? Because somebody asked me tonight. Fuck you, Joe. What would it take to get a second snake in your hands? Uh, nope, not happening. What if it cut your time in half? <sighs> not happening. And I, and I get to choose which one of these fucking bastards I'm holding. No, we're going with the big one. No, fuck you. We're not going with the big one. We're going with the nicest one. And I'm trying to figure out which one that would be at this point. Because they've all bit you. And no, that's my haven't. problem. I've had two of them bite me. Yeah, those two? Off the list. Right the fuck right the now. The tiniest one that is now the sweetest one you just nixed. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn my life. Fresh out of the egg, a lot of them will bite. I I'm got not, her fresh yeah, out of the I'm egg. I'm not holding that. No. No, no. She's, she's the sweetest one now. Yeah, fuck. When we get bit, I'm gonna get strangled. I'm gonna no, die. No, you're not. This is what's gonna happen. And fuck you, Joe, for even thinking two snakes. I know who you meant by when you said what it would take. You meant fucking Joe. Fuck you, Joe. Fuck you. I, I, that's actually level one. Ask the same question. Oh well, level one's a dick anyway. He's like, how can I get Roger to have more of these in his hands? I'll tell you what, level one, put a hundred bucks up. No, just from level one. Just from level one. A hundred dollars. What if? Hold on. In what my if, hand. What if accumulatively nope. we reach two hundred? Nope. Nope. I want one hundred dollars from level one by himself for two snakes, and I will hold two snakes for the duration of whatever else we raise. Now that hundred dollars does not go into the pot of how long I hold the snake. That is something completely different. But a hundred dollars adds a snake. A hundred dollars from level one. So what if what if anytime somebody does a hundred, you gotta from, pick up another no, one? No, no, okay. no. So what if somebody gives level one a hundred dollars? That's on them then. As long as it comes from level one, that's how this works. So everybody, if, you, <laughs> if you're feeling generous here, slip level one a hundred to hand to Roger. To be fair, this is gonna go to a good cause. It's gonna go to gamers without dice. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> This I is, wish this that was is, a new charity. It, it, it's going to entertain the geeky to get this off the ground. <laughs> it is. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's actually, this is all the proceeds from this are going to go to expanding on our uh, on our board game line. Or tabletop line, rather. Cause are it's, paying Andy Yang for website. You know, paying yeah. bills is what this is going for. Yeah, it's, it's keeping us afloat. So, that's happening. I'm going to hold a fucking... Snake. Maybe two if level one hands you hundred. If level one hands me a hundred dollars, I will hold the snake. I'll hold the second snake. Fuck you, Kevin Freeman. Fuck you up your stupid. You know he's going to come up with a hundred dollars. Good. That's going right in my pocket. <laughs> That's where that goes. That's going to entertain the geek. That's game. going right to me. Hundred dollars. Everything for one snake is going to entertain the geek. The hundred dollars is for me. Oh God, Roger. Uh, and Roger's going to donate it to entertain the geeky. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, oh. this is going to get Andy Yang cards. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So what did we discuss today? What did we learn? I mean, basically what we learned is this. Roger's going to be snake wrangling. Um, in case you guys didn't see the meme, 
it's fucking hysterical. No, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I have one request. Yeah, what's your request? I want you to wear a cowboy hat while you do I'll it. Of course I'll wear a fucking cowboy hat. Do you own a cowboy hat? I guess I own a cowboy hat. You have to bring that. I, I ran Deadlands. Of course I own it. I don't know if it fits my head, but damn it, I'll wear it. Roger's wearing a cowboy hat as he's snake wrangling. Where are we going to, where are we going to do this hat? Um, we're going to do it here. So we are actually going to do it as part of an episode. Are we? We are. It's going to be a little shindig. We're going to start earlier in the day than we normally would. Okay. Um, anybody that's been on the show, I want to give them the option to come. I want to, I want to have a final list of I want a final approval list. You know your wife is going to be there. She's never been on the show. She doesn't count. Yeah, but you know she's going to be there. Probably. We'll probably have to move this out of the office. Might have to. We, uh, we might not. We don't know. Mm. Whatever happens. Fuck it. Bring V back. I'm back to that. Fucking Christmas music's creepy. Hey guys, do me a favor on Facebook. Send me your favorite Christmas songs, and I will tell you how they're creepy. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, send me your favorite Christmas music, and I'll tell you how it's creepy. And then go to beastescaperoom.com. Enter the promo code geeky. You get 20% off with that. How much? 20% off when you enter promo code geeky. That's 20 cents on the dollar. At beastescaperoom.com. Now, I'm going to need you guys to do me a favor. I want you to head over to Facebook, search up Entertain the Geeky, click that like button. You will see our lovely smiling faces with our two game designers as our background. You will see the Entertain the Geeky logo looking lovely as ever. Click like. We post on there often. Roger is starting to post on there with regularity. How awesome is that? I owned Thanksgiving this year. You did own Thanksgiving this year. Go to Twitter. We are Entertaining Geeky. Give us a a follow there. Um, I will follow you back. In a heartbeat, we will have fun on Twitter. We're always posting episode content on Twitter, which is great. Go to, uh, we're on Instagram as Entertain the Geeky, and on YouTube as Entertain the Geeky. And just so you guys know, because I have been yelled at for this by a couple of regular listeners, videos are coming after Christmas. Um, We have a real date now. We've posted teaser video and stuff like that. After Christmas, we will have new videos. We're waiting on a new camera. That's all it is at this point. Fuck you, level one. As always, guys, stay geeky.